You are one individual who was very confident during the campaigns, even as the Electoral Commission of Zambia were announcing the results after the first set of results, you're still very confident that you would, for example, according to you, would win uh, in your strong, uh, strongholds massively. Where do you think the Patriotic Front went wrong in the administration, so much so that they had over, about close to a million rather, in terms of the difference with the votes? Uh, first of all, I'd like to say that uh, we have numerous cases of malpractice and unfair dealings that we petitioned the Electoral Commission of Zambia, and these are on record, and we did that to make sure that we put everything on record, that there were a lot of incidences that pointed out that the campaigns were not free and fair, the elections were not free and fair, and more evidence of videos of people playing with uh, 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 ballot papers and ballot papers being found in the bush have come out, and I'm sure that as Diamond TV, you have seen those videos and everything that went on. The violence that went on in the, the strongholds of UPND, that led to our people not even turning up to vote because they were scared. All those things that went wrong during the campaigns, we documented those things and took them to the Electoral Commission of Zambia. Coming to us as a party, there are so many lessons that we have learned from the defeat. We have learned a lot of lessons of the things that we didn't do right, of the things that we needed to change. And the, look, life is about learning and changing. And we are very confident that we as Patriotic Front will be bouncing back. By the way, the 2026 elections have started. We are the leaders in the House in terms of the opposition bench. And we will use the numbers of members of parliament that we have to continue providing checks and balances and continue mobilizing our party and learning from the mistakes of the past. We are very sure that will bounce back. It's a process. Uh, but it's not the what, end. What, are, what, are, what are some of these mistakes that you've been able to notice? Because uh, also, are you saying that the, the Patriotic Front partially lost because of what you feel is the alleged malpractice by the UPND members and supporters in this case? Of course, the violence contributed. The violence was the biggest problem. We had our people being beaten, our officers being bent down, our people being killed. We had lost four people that were killed. Even as I'm talking to you right now, today, we have a number of PF members who are in hiding. Others, we can't account for them. We don't know where they are. When you talk about the mistakes that, that, that the, the PF made, what in this case are they? The, the ones that you feel were the actual mistakes, apart from what you feel the UPND did or did not do? What are you saying are the mistakes by the PF that you're going to learn from? The post-mortem is based on the internal analysis. So I wouldn't go into the details of the post-mortem because that is an internal process, dealing with matters internally and doing a honest analysis and introspection uh, of what went on internally. So I will not divulge on what the post-mortem uh, was, uh, was looking at. And this is a continuous process. We'll continue to have a reflection of where we went wrong. But I will not discuss those matters in public. Does President Edgar Lungu continue as a party president? Well, Patriotic Front is a very democratic party, and we have a constitution that we follow. And the constitution of the party guides uh, His Excellency uh, President Edgar Chagwalungu was elected as president of the Patriotic Front for five years. The Patriotic Front will decide when to go to the General Conference in line with our party constitution to elect the president or to elect, uh, uh, yeah, to elect the president. So we will decide when to do that. But the president, Edgar Lung, was given the mandate to be the president of Patriotic Front for five years. We can have a snap uh, general conference, which is uh, an, uh, an extraordinary general conference, to, uh, to present one item. That item could be the election of the president. It could be the change of many things. Uh, that will happen. But whatever happens going forward will be based on what the constitution of the Patriotic Front states. People are saying, where is Mr. Ant Antonio Mwanza? He said that he was going to do something to his body, cut <coughs> out a, a certain part of his body if UPND... Uh, wins, but are you safe? Because people are looking. No, for first of all, I, you, I'm happy you have raised that issue. Mm. I have issued a very comprehensive statement. Mm -hmm. uh, that issue came in the New Vision newspaper. Right. They wrote a story which was totally false and unfounded. The New Vision newspaper apologized to me, but I refused to accept the apology because of the damage mm. that they have caused. Mm. 
I took the matter to court, and this matter could have been disposed of a long time ago, but because of the COVID-19, all civil matters were put on hold as the courts were not allowing more people at their premises. So you never issued I'd like to statement. tell you that this matter, mm. me versus the new Vision newspaper, is coming up any day this month. We are going to be given, this month or next month, we are going to be given fresh dates right. when this matter will be held in court. Uh, so I never said those things. It was a, uh, a fake story from the new Vision newspaper, and I've sued the new Vision newspaper. The case is in court. And I'll prove in the courts of law that that was a fake story that was uh, 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 pushed by the New Vision newspaper to discredit me.